In this video, we shall learn about the net present value when there is residual value included in the process. We have understood it theoretically, but now we will perform it numerically. And it is not that difficult as we will see in this example. We are considering the same example that we used before for the sake of inclusion of residual value. And this example is borrowed from this manual. In 2015, it was published by government of the Punjab, Pakistan. Uh, Lahore Sialkot motorway, it's a um, uh, um, physically existing motorway. However, the data here is hypothetical. So the discount rate is already given. We don't have to worry about it. It will be 12%. Now we have seen these columns before. Just for a reminder, this is the first column, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh and then finally the last column the first column is very familiar time the second is the capital cost other is the operation and maintenance cost then there is the sum of the two components of the cost that is capital cost and the operation and maintenance cost so the sum is here 20 plus 0 is equal to 20 and then 0 plus 4 is equal to 4 and these are the benefits in the f first three years there are no benefits because the project is in the process of construction and then it is established so after understanding the mm, flow of the um, cost and benefits here we see that we are trying to add 30 in the benefits uh, because this 30 is actually the value of the um, benefits uh, of the solvage value that should be included either in the benefits or they should be subtracted from the costs in the final year this is the final year as we know that the solvage value should be treated in the final year so 50 plus 30 would be 80 and this 80 when you know difference with this uh, 7 it will be 73 so 73 will be the net benefit in the last year and then we can uh, do the same process that we have learnt about before discounting factor will be used here the calculations are done and finally these new net benefits are now being uh, introduced with the discounting factor and finally we get the products on a yearly basis summing which we will get the uh, final result which is approximately 50.8936 so this is the present value in case of having residual value So now let's uh, try to interpret this result. This is the NPV with residual value and it is 50.8936 which is positive. This means that it is a desirable project. However, the NPV without the residual value which we calculated before uh, is $41.23 in which there was no residual value and it was still positive and it was favoring the project. So there is a change in the um, NPV and we, we should try to calculate the percentage change in the NPV. This can be a useful thing to know. So percentage increase in NPV is equal to simply the percentage change formula will be used here. A percentage change in NPV is equal to the new value of NPV that is with residual value and the old value of NPV, the difference of the two and then divided by, by the uh, original NPV that is without the residual value and then multiplied with 100 for the sake of um, percentage terms answer. After substituting these values we will get the percentage change in NPV and uh, this is the numerical answer of it and it says that 23.42 percent increase has happened in the NPV 
due to the introduction of residual value and you can see it's a substantial increase the NPV has increased by 23.4 percent so in this way we can observe that the um, residual value can be um, appropriately included in our stream of uh, benefits or stream of costs either of these option will be used we used the benefit side of the things and then we came up with a new value of NPV and that was even better than the previous value and finally we can calculate the percentage change in NPV which is substantial and this can be uh, considered as a substantial effect of the inclusion of residual value in the stream of net benefits um, via the addition in the benefits column in the final year. Thank you.